Members of the Koki Open Bible Prayer and Praise Chapel would like to welcome you this evening to join us as we do battle in prayer. We thank God that you have taken time to join us this evening for this hour of prayer. And we trust the Lord that as we as as we pray before the Lord, the scripture says, One shall put a thousand to fight, and two shall put ten thousand. We shall have victory in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Well, good evening, friends. I greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is so good to be back with you for our second edition of Our Power for 2021. God is good, and His mercies are everlasting. You know, I want to thank God for bringing us through another week. You know, days are going by so quickly. And I want to thank you for taking the time to share this evening, this one hour. This is a good time for you to call a friend. Let someone know that our power is on. Share the link with someone so that they can come in and be a part. This is where we pray for needs. We, we trust God that he will turn situations around for individuals who are trusting him. And as we trust God, we know, there is no doubt in my mind, that God is going to show up. He's going to show up for you. He's going to show up in your situation. I can assure you that your situation tonight is going to change in Jesus' name. Father, we exalt you. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like Jehovah God. Like the songwriter says, my hope is built on nothing else than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. And for 2021, Father God, this is what we commit ourselves to doing. Lord, we commit to trusting and leaning on your name only. 
while some may trust in their riches, some may trust in horses and in chariots. Lord, we will trust in the name of the Lord of hosts, for Father, we have tasted and we have seen, we have experienced your goodness, Lord, your might, you are all powerful. There is no God like you. We can search the world over and not find any like you. And Father Lord, as we pray tonight, we thank you that, oh God, there is going to be a shifting. Things are going to change for your people. Sick persons are going to be healed. Lord, those who are bound are going to be set free. Deliverance is going to take place tonight in the name of Jesus. We come against every planned attack of the enemy to distort this evening's service in Jesus' name. We pray that the atmosphere is going to be set, Lord Father, for you to show up and to show yourself strong as you've done before. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise this evening. We give you praise this evening, Lord, because just like David said in the book of Psalm, you have blessed us bountifully, and we praise your holy name this evening. My friends, trust God in 2021. Set your eyes on him, and put him first, and watch him work on your behalf. In Jesus' name, amen. We welcome you to our hour of power this evening. As we come this evening, we are here to pray. We are here to go before the throne of God. And it is my pleasure and my privilege this evening to lift up all the leaders of every ministry attached to the Kokio Bible Church. So Father God, this evening we come in your presence, God, because in your presence, oh God, there is fullness of joy. Father, we come to a God who was not created by human hands. We come to a God who is God all by himself. God, this evening you are Jehovah. You are the most high God. You are Elohim. You are Yahweh. You are Yeshua. Father God, you are our strong tower, you are our refuge, your strength, you are joy. Father, you are protector, God, you are healer, you are everything to us today. And because of who you are, Father, we lift your name high. Because of who you are, we praise you, God. We make big of your name because you are God all by yourself. Father, even now, as I come before your throne, God, you tell us that we can come boldly. You have given us that permission, God, to come boldly to your throne where we can obtain mercy and where we can find help in time of need. And so, God, even now, I come, God, bringing every leader of all the ministries attached to our church today. Father God, at this time, Lord, I come bringing, Father God, the caring ministry, the children's ministry, the youth ministry, the men's ministry, the women's ministry. Father God, we come bringing, oh God, the online ministry. We God, we bring, oh God, even before you, Lord Jesus, the worship, the song, the, and the music ministry. God, we bring the intercessory ministry. We bring the online ministry. God, we bring every ministry, oh God, before your throne today. And Father, Father God, we pray even now for leaders who would be in sync, oh God, with the vision of our pastor. Father, the vision, oh God, that you have given to him. We pray, God, that every leader, God, will align themselves, oh God, with the mandate that you have given to him. That, Father God, you will grant them the ways, oh God, Lord Jesus, that will please you. Oh God, we pray, Lord Jesus, even now, that as they align themselves with the vision, Vision, oh God of the man of God that Father God you will synchronize their spirits oh God today Father God we pray even now God that you will give them oh God everything that is needed oh God that they will lack nothing in season give them oh God all that they need God to navigate their ministry oh God through these times and this season Father God we pray God that you will give them a fresh anointing God you would saturate them with your holy presence, oh God. And Father, you will download into their spirits, oh God, divine strategies, oh God, strategies, oh God, that will cause them to lead effectively, oh God, and 
wisely. And so, God, even now we ask, Lord, that you will pour out, you will pour out your anointing on them. And Father God, even now, Lord, we bring before you, God, even the vision of our pastor for this year. Father God, that we will, oh God, prepare our soil. Oh God, we pray that every leader, Father God, that we will be connected, oh God, that Father God, we will peer with him today, oh God, to cause this, oh God, this vision to come to fruition. Father God, we pray, God, that you will grant us, oh God, soil, oh God, that is well prepared, soil that is fertile, soil, oh God, that will be able, Lord Jesus, to take a seed, God, and bring that seed, oh God, to a place of fruition, oh God. Father God, that we will be like trees that are planted by the rivers of water, that our roots, oh God, will spread out, that our branches, oh God, will spread out, and Father, Father God, that we will bring forth fruit to God in our season. So God, today, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the vision. And we pray, God, that we will all align ourselves, oh God, with the vision, oh God. And so, Lord, we lift up, oh God, again, every leader before your throne. We place them, oh God, into your care. And we know that you are able to hold them. We know, God, that you are able, oh God, to mold them and to take care of everything that them concerns them. And so God, even now, we leave them, oh God. We leave them in your care. And we know that you are able, God, to take care of everything that concerns them. Father, we give you praise today. We give you honor and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the glory and all the honor this evening, Almighty God. And Lord, even, oh God, as Father, your people, even, oh God, as the brothers and sisters in the Lord, as we come together for this hour of power. Father God, this is not just an ordinary hour of power, but Almighty God, this evening, oh Lord, we thank you for breakthrough. We thank you, oh God, that lives will be touched and ministered unto Almighty God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, we say, have your way this evening. And Almighty God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, O oh God, for this new year. We say thank you for bringing us here, O oh God, into 2021, Almighty God. And Lord, this year, O oh God, we thank you, O oh God, that this year will be a year of change and transformation, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, that, Father God, that the hearts of men and women will turn to you, Almighty God, in 2021. Father God, we can look back in 2020 and see, O oh God, Father God, so many things happen, O oh God, and yet you kept us, Lord. You kept us, O oh God. God and Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, we'll be thanking you, O God, that this year, this year, O God, will be a year, O God, where men and women will cry out to you, O God, will surrender to you, Almighty God. We thank you, Lord. Father, you are awesome. We thank you, O God, that you are powerful and mighty, O God. We know that you are more than able, O God. I pray for families, O God, that this year, families will turn to you, O God. I pray, O God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, that people will look back, they will Will look back and did not take it for granted but we will look back oh God and say that God has been good to us God has been good to us hallelujah father we worship you we bless your name almighty God we honor your name almighty God father we pray in the name of Jesus 2021 will be a year father God of healing 2021 oh God will be a year of transformation 2021 almighty God will be a year of change in the name of Jesus. And I want people to know, God, Father, Lord, God, that, 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 that there is nobody else that we can turn to right now, but, but true, we can turn to the true and living God. We will have to turn to you, Almighty God, if we want to see things happening, oh God, in 2021. If we want to see, oh God, hearts and, and lives, oh God, changing and turning to you, oh God, we have to look to you. We have to turn to you, oh God, Almighty God. Father, we bless you. We bless you. I pray, God, that this year, the church the church of oh God that we will rise up we will rise up oh God and take our rightful place oh God in the name of Jesus Father Almighty God we just bless your name we thank you Lord we bless you oh God in the name of Jesus we say glory to God glory to God 2021 
this year of change and transformation 2021 will not be like 2020 in the name of Jesus I see oh God father God families I see men and women running to you oh God surrendering to you oh God in the name of Jesus father we thank you we thank you we bless your name we bless your name Lord Jesus hallelujah glory to God this is not an ordinary of power but Lord Father God, bless those who are watching right now. Father God, touch those, oh God, who are watching right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Almighty God. We glorify your name, Lord Jesus. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory, oh God, in Jesus' name. 2021, this year people will be turning to you Lord people will be running to you people will repent in the name of Jesus people will get baptized in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah we bless you Lord we glorify you oh God in Jesus name we pray thanksgiving amen and amen and amen thank you Lord thank you Lord Father, we thank you oh God we thank you for this new season oh God we thank you God that in you oh God there is always you promise about to make all things new and we thank you for the season oh god we thank you oh god for your hand upon our lives we thank you god that you chose us to be your people that you have separated us oh god unto holiness oh god and unto godly living and father this evening oh god we pray oh god father that even oh god as we submit ourselves to you oh god that you will continue to have your divine will and way in our lives oh god father but we surrender to you this evening oh god we surrender surrender to you. We say take our lives, oh God. Take our hearts, our minds, our souls, our bodies, our soul, our spirits, oh God, Father. Use us for your honor and for your glory. Father, this evening, oh God, I pray, oh God, that our eyes would ever, Lord, be fixed towards you, oh God, because your word said, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith, oh God, Father. And this evening, oh God, I pray strength into your people. I pray, oh God, great grace into your people for this season, oh God. I pray, oh God, that we will not become weary, oh God, that we will not faint in the day of adversity, but, oh God, we will say, oh God, like the psalmist, on Christ, the solid rock, I stand all on the ground, the same in sand, O oh God. Father, I pray, O oh God, this evening that we will all be committed, O oh God, that we will have a passion and a desire for the things of God, that our love for you will not grow cold or become lukewarm, but will always be on fire for you, O oh God, that the things of God will always take preeminence in our lives, O oh God, Father, that the house of God will not become, O oh God, a far away thought for us, O oh God, but we will conform ourselves, O oh God, into the image and to the likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, O oh God, for us. I thank you for your people, O oh God, because you said, O oh God, this is the people that you have chosen. We thank you, O oh God, for the season we are living in, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, we will continue to walk in uprightness of heart, and we will continue to walk in integrity, O oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh God, even because I pray, O oh God, we will not conform to the this world, but will be transformed and the renewing of our minds and every day, oh God, our minds will be renewed in you, and the things of this world will grow strangely dim in the light of your glory and your grace, oh God. Cause your face to shine upon your people this evening, oh God. Cause us, oh God, to hear your voice, to hearken diligently unto your voice, oh God, and to observe, to do your will, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, every distress in our lives, oh God, every vain thing we keep holding on to, remove it, oh God, in the name of Jesus, every stumbling block in our way, oh God, every wrong thinking, every wrong friendship, every wrong alignment, oh God, we break this evening in the name of Jesus, and we submit ourselves to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, oh God, we pray, oh God, that you will overrule in our lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father, I pray, oh God, that we will be strong in the Lord and in the power of your might, oh God, that will always be ready, oh God, Father, and will always, oh God, be sober, oh God, because the adversary, your word said, walk it about as a royal lion, seeking whom may be 
seeking whom he may devour, oh God. Help us, oh God, my God, to always be in our God spiritually. Help us, oh God, to be focused on you this evening, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus. Even in this new season, let us walk in newness, oh God. Let us walk in uprightness, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We lay our lives before you. We say, take us, oh God, mold us, oh God, conform, transform us, oh God. God, Father, and use us, O oh God, for your honor and for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.
is higher than every other name. Your name, O oh God, that is holy and worthy, God. We exalt you, O King of Kings and O oh Lord of Lords. Oh, we bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord, you are worthy, God. Father God, we come before your holy name, O oh God, tonight. We come before you, O oh God, thanking you, Jesus, because you are a great God. Thank you, O oh God, for preserving our lives, O oh God for reserving us oh god jesus preserving us for your keeping power that is upon us always father god father god i bring marriages before you god you said in your word oh god and whatever you have joined together, no man shall put asunder, Father God. Oh, Father God, I bring marriages before you, Father God. You know what the enemy has been trying, Father God. Oh, God, he's trying to infiltrate himself in marriages. Oh, God, but we bind him right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. We declare, oh God, that he is null and void in these marriages, oh God, Father God. So we speak against conflict, oh God, and confusion, oh God. Every spirit of anger, oh God. God, we come against it, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We breathe life into marriages, oh God, where where the enemy has come in and tried to destroy, but Father God, we breathe life into them, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, let your will be done, oh God. Let your will be done, oh God. Oh God, so we speak reconciliation, Father God. We speak forgiveness, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, Father God, you just come in, oh God. Oh God, you be the center of every single marriage, oh God, Father God in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we praise you, God, and we exalt you, oh God, for the work, of oh God, that you're about to do, Father God, in these families, in these homes, Father God. Father God, no more shall the enemy have reign, no more shall the enemy have control, Father God. Help us, oh God, to see, oh God, that the battle is not with the husband and your wife, oh God, and with people and with things, Father God, but help us to see that the truth enemy oh the true enemy is the devil father god about to see oh god oh god and help us to come against that spirit father god in the name of jesus we speak against divorce we speak against it right now in the name of jesus and we declare father god that your will be done oh god oh god that purpose will be shall, shall be fulfilled in marriages and in families father god help us oh god jesus to not operate in our own selves oh god but operate oh god oh god under you oh god father as you have been our guide oh god father god i just thank you oh god for what you're about to do father god we thank you oh god what you're about to unleash lord jesus father god we praise and we exalt your holy and mighty name oh god this evening in your word your word in jesus name we pray amen and amen and amen and amen good evening everyone welcome to this evening's hour of power this evening, I'm praying for all the ministries of our church at Koki Open Bible Church. Father, I thank you. I give you praise. I give you thanks. I give you glory and honor. Father, I honor you this evening. Father, I thank you. I thank you that you are God and besides you, there is no other God. Father, I thank you, O oh God, for the men and the women, O oh God, whom you have placed in ministry in our church. Father, first of all, I want to pray for our leaders of the various ministries, O oh God. Father, you know them by name, you know them by nature, you know them by number, O oh God. Father God, you know the sacrifices that they have made, O oh God, to head these ministries. Father, I thank you, O oh God, for them, for those who are in the various ministries, O oh God. Father, you know each and every one. They are too numerous to mention. And Father, I bring them to you, O oh God, this evening as an evening sacrifice. Father, I thank you, O oh God, for the contribution that each and every one of them have made. I thank you, O oh Lord God, that they've all come together, O oh God, for the, for the working of the church, O oh God. Each ministry, God, has an integral part to play, O oh God, in our church, Father, bringing our people together, bringing us in worship, bringing us in fellowship to you, O oh God. And Father God, this evening I pray, oh God, I pray for the spirit of discernment. I pray, oh God, that our that the leaders of the various ministries will be able, oh God, to discern, oh God, when their members are in trouble, when somebody's going through a challenge, oh God. So that they'll be able to reach out, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So that they will know, oh God, that 
they need to put in a little extra time with this person. Father God, I pray, oh God, that you for increasing these ministries. I pray, oh God, that more and more people, oh God, even in this COVID time, oh God, will come together, Lord, and serve. Serve in the various ministries, oh God. Father, you have placed, you have given each and every one of us a gift. And Father God, we are offering it back up to you this evening through the various ministries. So Father God, I pray, oh God, I pray for increase. I pray, oh God, for, for, for steadfastness in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that you will strengthen the leaders, that you will give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father God, that you will take them to higher, higher heights and better depths. Father God, I pray, oh God, that you will that you will download in them, oh God, your word, Father, that they will keep it in their hearts, oh God, and they'll be able to share it with the members in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I thank you for every ministry. I thank you for every ministry leader. I thank you for their families, oh God. Father, I lift their families, their wives, their spouses their husbands, their children, I lift them before you, Lord, because I know, Lord, it is a labor, not only of love, but of sacrifice at this time. So, Father, I ask you to bless every ministry leader. Bless everyone in the name of Jesus. Father, you know them by name, you know them by nature. I cover them with the blood of Jesus, and I thank you for them, each and every one of them. In Jesus' name, amen. A pleasant good afternoon to each and every one that is joining our power this evening and truly this is our hour of power going forward for 2021 i want to encourage you there to join with me let's join our faith believing and knowing that our god is able to do exceedingly abundant above that we can ask or think and today we this evening we want to pray for healing whatever the disease is cancer diabetes, heart problem, stroke, whatever the situation. We want to join our faith in one accord, knowing that our God is able to deliver us. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 17 says, I will restore your health. Glory to God. I will restore your health. And I will heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is making a declaration what he is going to do and what he is able to do. And we have to believe by faith. Do care how the situation may look and what the doctors may say. We are standing on God's declaration to our sickness. So, Father God, we come before you in no other name by the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we declare healing for your people, O oh God. From the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, O oh God. Every organ, O oh God. Every tissue, whatever the problem, whatever is going going wrong. Father God, we know that you can make every wrong right, O oh God, Father God. Healing is the children's bread and with your stripes, O oh God, we are healed. You wish above all things. We prosper and be in good health. So, Father God, those that are crying, those that are in the hospital, those that have a bad report from the doctor, we come against it in the name of Jesus and we send forth your word. Oh God, your word of healing, your word of power. Oh God, dry up every sickness, drive out every disease in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles, let there be sign, let there be wonder, let there be deliverance, let there be healing. Oh glory to God, to the people of God. So Father God, touch your people this evening. Wherever the problem is, touch that body right now. Right now, bodies be healed. Touch bodies, oh God. Let your spirit go forth right now in the name of Jesus, mighty God. Touch bodies, touch migraine, headache have to go. Everything that is not of you have to bow in the name of Jesus. Cancer have to bow, diabetes have to bow, hypertension have to bow in the name of Jesus. Circulation problem, prostate problem in the name of Jesus. We command them to bow. And we declare healing over your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
let me take this time to wish you and your family a happy new year. Many of us are glad 2020 has come to an end. Why? Because in that year, we would have faced so many challenges. We had so many setbacks. We had so many disappointments. We faced discouragement. There were so many things that happened in 2020 that we are so glad that it's over. But God was used in 2020 to prepare you for this season of 2021 and beyond. The Lord spoke to me and said, 2021 is going to be a year that an army of saints are going to arise to possess territory. It's time. It is a season. You must arise and fulfill the assignment that the Lord has ordained for you to fulfill. In 2020, God was doing a circumcision of the heart. He was causing us to begin to step into a place of surrender. It was a season of reset. It was a season of reformation. It was a season of transformation. And now he is saying, arise, move out, establish my kingdom, take territory, build my kingdom. That is the assignment that you have given to the church. And so God is saying to you in this season, he has called you to be a soldier. He has called you to be a warrior. It's time to possess your territory. Now, as we step into 2021, the first three months of 2021, the Lord is calling us into formation. Now, when you call an army into formation, you are saying, come into alignment. You are saying, position yourself. You are saying, it is time to understand what you're about to step into. And I believe the first three months of this year, the Lord is bringing us into an understanding as to the mission and the assignment that you have set before us. So the question is, how do I get into formation? Number one, abide in prayer. This is going to be a season that the church must abide in prayer. Prayer is the engine room of the church and we need to remain in prayer. We need to pray consistently. We need to stay in that place of prayer. And I'm not talking about having your devotions. I'm talking about really entering into a place of prayer. Secondly, we need to submit to the truth, the word of God. You need to hear the truth. You need to submit to the truth. And 2021 is going to be a year that we must submit to the truth and we must abide in the word of God. Jesus, when he was going through the wilderness, said, man does not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So it's important that every single day in every single thing that we do, that we allow the word to lead us, to guide us, and that we bring our emotions, our soul into alignment of truth. All right. So in these three months of formation, the Lord is saying, abide in prayer. He's saying, submit to truth. Next, you need to know the will of God for your life. You cannot move forward in your destiny and move forward in the assignment if you don't know what it is. Many people have been good churchgoers, but have not been Christians. To be a Christian means that I am aligning to what the Father is saying. I'm aligning to the Son. A matter of fact, our number one priority our number one concern should be to be to be conformed into the image and likeness of Christ that should be our number one priority and so it is that in this season of 2021 we need to know the will of God and we need to fulfill that will next rid yourself of anything that will cause you to walk in the flesh 2020 was a year of circumcision 2020 was a year of dealing with the flesh he was preparing us. You can't be moving forward now in 2021 being governed by the flesh. You need to get rid of anything that will cause you to walk in the flesh. Next, you need to manage your emotions. This will be a season that you've got to manage emotion. There are many things that are happening out there in the world. There are many things that are being said. There are many things that are being sent by the enemy to cause you to emotionally respond. It is so important that in 2021 that you manage your emotions and that you focus on what God wants you to focus. It's also going to be a time of aligning, aligning with God's when and God's way. 
God's when and God's way. So you may know what is the will of God, but you need to know when and you need to know the way in which he wants you to do it. So it's not just coming up with a great idea and just doing it. It's not just having um, a feeling. It is really hearing the voice of God and knowing exactly specifically what the Holy Spirit wants you to do in this year and beyond and go according to when he wants you done wants it done and also the way in which he wants it done all right so for the first three months this is the things that god is going to speak to us and how we are going to um be prepared to step into the mission that have been set before us. Now, the Lord is saying in 2021 that we are going to rise as an army. And when the Lord spoke this to me, he had given me Ezekiel. When, he's, when Ezekiel was called by God to prophesy to the dry bones. And as he prophesied to the dry bones, they came together and they became an army. And so it is that 2020 was the year uh, according to the Hebrew calendar it was the year of the mouth the speaking for the prophetic utterance all right and in 2020 um, the lord spoke many things and he he was speaking for us to come into alignment here it is that we are now ready to move forward to possess the land this will be a year uh, that god is going to shift systems Old systems are going to shift and new systems are going to be established. This is also going to be a time that God is going to remove certain leaders. There are some leaders that are in especially the body of Christ that he's going to remove. Why? Because they have led the sheep astray. So God is going to move them out and he's going to establish new leaders and he's going to cause leaders to be men and women after his own heart. This will be a year of great release of the supernatural because you are going to rise in the power of the spirit. Listen, God has given you everything that you need to fulfill your purpose and destiny. So this is going to be a year of the supernatural, the year when his saints are going to rise and they're going to demonstrate it's not just going to be a fivefold minister, but it's going to be every believer demonstrating the power of God. There is a release of God's glory. As a matter of fact, in talking to other prophets and apostles around the world, are talking about a move of God that's about to hit the earth that have not been seen before. And listen, it's all for Jesus. It's all for his glory and all for his honor. It's all for him to be exalted. So as we begin to rise, as we begin to take a rightful position and begin to be led by the Spirit of God to move forward, to take territory, he has empowered us by his Spirit. So many of us are going to rise, if not all of us, but many of us who have allowed the processing in 2020 and allowed the pruning are going to be vessels that he's going to use mightily with healing and miracles, signs and wonders. And it's going to be so common among us that we will not, that the world will see that we are different. And as a matter of fact, we'll be the salt on the earth. Okay, so there'll be a greater release. One of the other things that the Lord spoke to me that in the 1950s, we had some great healing evangelists that arose in that time period. And the Lord spoke to me and said, in 2021 and beyond, the saints are going to arise with such a healing and such an anointing for evangelism that it is going to be combined, the combination of all those that were used mightily in that time, that anointing and grace is going to be released upon the ordinary believer who believe God can do it and they're going to rise and really there's going to be mass evangelism that is going to cause many to come to the Lord oh this is going to be so awesome I'm looking forward to seeing what God is going to do there because I'm ready to touch the world with his gospel the next thing that the Lord spoke to me that this is going to be a year that not only are we going to see the harvest of soul, but we're going to see hearts of um, leaders within the natural, within government, within different um, spheres of influence, turn to the Lord. I'm telling you, we're going to see kings, presidents bow their knees as they begin to acknowledge Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Now, around the world, there are going to be wars. There are going to be rumors of wars. There are going to be riots. There are going to be all these different things that are going to happen. As a matter of fact, right here in Trinidad, the Lord spoke to me that there was going to be some civil unrest, but don't be alarmed because in the midst of that, many will come to the Lord and there will be a move of God. So, as you look in the world, things are 
are going to get worse. Things are going to get hard. But your eyes need to be on the Lord. You need to really ensure that you are walking with the Lord, listening to his voice. This is not a season to play church. This is not a season to attend church and just sit in church. It's a season to you to arise and be who you were created to be, to create it to be. This also is going to be a season of militant faith. I'm talking the faith, the gift of faith. Uh, many are going to arise very strongly with the gift of faith, but many of us are going to arise with that militant faith. Matter of fact, there are some things this year that you will have to contend for instead of just saying, well, yeah, I believe. I believe God is going to do this. Some things you will have to pray and intercede and contend for it because God is going to cause it to manifest even greater in this season. We are moving from that place of compliant to the enemy to alignment to God's purpose and God's plan. It is a great year, is a season. A matter of fact, for Trinidad and Tobago, I really see the hand of the Lord coming mighty upon this nation. But I want to say this, that if as a people we don't repent, and as a people, we don't align with what God is doing and even shift the system and shift and bring change to many things in our government and many things in our society. We will experience some great destruction and great turmoil if we don't align with what God is saying. As a matter of fact, the Lord spoke to me and said, Trinidad and Tobago have five years to get things into alignment. And if we don't get things into alignment, what has happened to the... Um, country nearby uh, to us um, is also going to happen to us economically. So I'm saying this and I'm calling on our, our leadership. I'm calling on government, uh, government um, leaders to really uh, begin to hear the voice of God, hear the word of the Lord, and let us bring change and transformation. This is your season to rise. This is your season to fulfill purpose and destiny. As a ministry, I really sense that the Lord is speaking to many of you to begin to embrace the fullness of the call of God on your life, to embrace the fullness of all that God has ordained for you as a people. Stop putting yourself in a bracket. Stop putting yourself in a, in a place of thinking that this is all that you can be. God wants you to rise and fulfill your destiny. So Father, I decree and declare that your church is arising to fulfill their purpose on the earth and that the voice of the Lord is speaking clearly and that they are aligned to be arise to be that army of saints that will demonstrate the supernatural and will possess the gates of the enemy and establish the kingdom of God. May God bless you and may this be your season for you to see breakthrough and create release. Father, we thank you for the prayers that have been offered over the past hour, Lord Jesus. We thank you for the word. Father, Lord, we ask you to let the seed of your word find root in the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Father, in these days and months ahead of us, Father, we pray that there be an establishing of your word. Let the seed of your word find root. Father, begin to prepare the soil of men's hearts. Father, you heard all that we've been praying for over the past hour and father right now in the name of Jesus we decree that the soil shall be made ready for the seed in Jesus name we thank you father in Jesus name amen and amen